Hi friends, welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to look at how to easily transfer photos and videos between an iOS device, so this could be an iPhone or an iPad, to a device that isn't Apple related, for example a Windows computer or an Android phone. To do this, we're going to be using Siri shortcuts. Very recently, I've been experiencing problems transferring photos and videos between my iPhone and my Windows PC. Uh, what I was doing was uploading the photos and videos to iCloud, then going through an iCloud Photos app on my Windows PC. But the problem I was experiencing was that it took a long time for the photos and videos to upload, and a long time for my Windows PC to detect that the photos and videos had actually been uploaded to the server. So this could potentially be due to a connection issue on my end. However, I then tried using this method that I'm about to show you and it seemed to work seamlessly. So, okay, so that's enough of me talking, so let's get started. So we're now going to dive into the Siri Shortcuts app. Okay, so I'm going to be using an iPad to create this shortcut. However, you can also create it on a phone as that will also work as well. Okay, so to actually create a shortcut, you need to have the Shortcuts app installed. So if you don't have it installed already, then to install it, you can go to the App Store, then just type Siri Shortcuts, and then it will just be the fourth one down, and then you can just install it through that. So once it's installed, it will look something like this when you um, load it up. However, if you're on an iPhone, it might look slightly different. Uh, I've already got um, two shortcuts already created. However, you won't have any if it is your first time launching the app. So... Um, a brief overview of the app, you've got your main home section of where you create your shortcuts, then you've got an automation section where you can link it up to smart devices, for example, smart plugs or a smart fan, and then you've got uh, the gallery where it will uh, give you suggested shortcuts from like, based on your usage of apps, and it will also potential and it will also give you uh, suggestions of other um, shortcuts you could potentially install for example like a toothbrushing timer shortcut if you if you wanted that for example but yeah there's essentially you can search for shortcuts in there if you don't want to make yours your own however so we're going to create a new shortcut so if you go ahead and click on the create shortcut button it will then load a menu very similar to this um this section below suggestions will have stuff related to your apps. Uh, mine's going to be blurred just because it's got private information and stuff. Yeah, you get the idea why. Okay, so we need to start creating the shortcut now. So the first thing we want to do is to tell the shortcut to ask us to select uh, some photos from the Photos app. So to do this, we go and click on the search. And if we type photos and then we scroll down we see we have a range of different actions we can do. So we could, for example, get the latest live photos, or we could get the latest photos that we took, or we could select some photos. So what we're going to do is we're going to select photos. Once you click it, it will open it up on the right here. If we click on the drop down where it says show more, we want to enable select multiple. So this allows you to upload multiple um, photos and videos to a Dropbox or uh, iCloud Drive. I'll explain more about this in a second. So select photos. That is done. We, so essentially when we run the shortcut it will select, it will get, ask us to select photos. So let's try this out. So if we run it, here we go, it's now asked us to select some photos. Uh, by the way this is going to be blurred just again because of like private uh, details but then you can just choose uh, which ones you want. So you have the option to uh, choose some photos that you've taken and you could choose multiple there we go so that works that uh, we know this works now so we now need to upload that photo or multiple photos and videos to uh, iCloud Drive or Dropbox so essentially you get to ch you could choose which service you're going to upload it to so as I said before you either get a choice of iCloud Drive or Dropbox so let's just show you firstly how we upload a photo. Okay, so to do this, if we click on documents, then we scroll down, we have the uh, options of file storage. So we've got a range of options. We can create a folder, we can delete files, we can get a file. However, the one that interests us is the one that says save file. So if we click it, it open, it creates another box below. So, uh, so essentially it's gonna save the selected photos from the one above and it's, we get the option to choose which service we're going to save it to. You can either save it to iCloud Drive or Dropbox. I'm going to save mine to iCloud Drive. 
And then um, you get to choose. You can uh, essentially leave the option on to ask where to save. Or if you don't want that, you can uh, set a destination path. And then you just get to um, uh, set the path within your service. And then you you then also get the option to overwrite if a file already exists. Again, this is up to you. However, I'm going to leave ask where to save on. Okay, so let's run this and see how it goes. If we click the run button, so that's the play in the bottom right. The op uh, the box to select some photos opens up. So let's just I'm going to select uh, two most recent one, and then you click done. Again, this is going to be blurred because of the um, privacy and then um, the iCloud Drive uh, option popped up for us to uh, choose where to save this um, if you're using Dropbox the Dropbox will open a window uh, asking you to save it as well however I'm going to select iCloud Drive and now I'm just going to just say save it in the main iCloud Drive uh, folder root directory and then click save there we go it has now uploaded the two images to iCloud Drive. So if I head over to the iCloud Drive app and let me open it, you're going to see that in the root directory the two images that I just uploaded are there. Uh, again these will be blur because private information, sorry about that. But you get the ideas and it will upload those two images to either iCloud Drive or Dropbox. Okay so now that we have uploaded those photos or videos to either iCloud Drive or Dropbox we need to access those files on the other devices that aren't app related. So in the example I'm going to be showing you now, I'm going to be accessing it on my Windows PC. However, if you're going to be accessing it on, let's say for example, an Android phone, then you, then I'm not entirely sure if there's an iCloud Drive equivalent app for Android. So, uh, you can, however, go through iCloud Drive on the web on the Android phone. However, this is not ideal. So I'd recommend you use Dropbox as your service because that will allow, because Dropbox is available on both um, iOS and Android. So you can go ahead and install the Dropbox app through the Google Play Store on the Android and sync up the files that way. So essentially, on the iOS device, you set the service as Dropbox. You then go ahead and when you run the shortcut, it will ask you to choose your photos and videos. It will upload it to the Dropbox. You then go onto your Android phone and then you go onto the Dropbox app and then you can see the photos and videos that you had just uploaded from your iOS device. So now I'm just going to switch over to my computer view, so that's my Windows PC, to show you how quickly it has updated. Okay, so I've opened up the file explorer and as you can see here, the two images we just uploaded are already here. It literally appeared instantaneously from uploading it through the series shortcuts app. And the way I've set up iCloud Drive within Windows is through, if you visit the Apple website and you visit the uh, download iCloud for Windows, you then just go ahead and download and follow the install instructions and then once it's all installed and you've signed in, the iCloud Drive um, option will appear in your sidebar within the file explorer and then so every time you upload files and videos through this series shortcuts option, they will essentially immediately appear within the iCloud Drive. There we go, so that works. So let's head back to the iPad now. Okay, so we're back in the iPad now. And so that works. Okay, so we now want to click on the next button. There we go. So we want to give our shortcut a name. So I'm going to call mine Upload Media to uh, Drive. And then it's done. Okay, so there's now two ways in how we can activate this series shortcut. We can either activate it by going through the Series Shortcuts app and then clicking the Upload Media to Drive option, or we can do it by activating Siri. So if we go, Hey Siri, Upload Media to Drive. There we go. And it has opened the option for us to choose our photos and then for us, and then it will go ahead and upload it to um, the iCloud Drive or if you chose the Dropbox option, you want to upload it to the Dropbox. So there we go, that is the end. And so it let, and if you're outside of the Shortcuts app and you do the same thing again, hey Siri, upload media to Drive. 
it will go ahead and open up the shortcuts app and then open up the window for you to choose the photos that you photos and videos that you want to upload okay so that's the end of this video if you have enjoyed it and you've learned something please do consider giving us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one bye bye